The reason why I wanted to study uh, MSc Data Science was because uh, because of my background. I have an engineering background, my uh, bachelor's uh, degrees in civil engineering. So after my bachelor's degree, I was like, okay, what's happening in the world right now? We, we're going towards uh, a data a science driven society. So that was why I decided to go into uh, data science and artificial intelligence. I was like, okay, uh, we are currently in the year of the generative, generative artificial intelligence. Why don't I use uh, AI to solve a problem for the University of Overhampton to reduce the workload of the live chat personnel so that uh, when they keep getting a lot of uh, live chat messages, JBots, which is the name of the chatbot which I have developed, will stand in the gap for them and will help to take off the workload for them. Yeah, for now it's working. It has been tested and um, a lot of our students, my course lecturers and um, even people not in the university have tried it and they like the idea that you can use it from anywhere in the world. You can interact with JBots, get information about the university inquiries. So that's it for now. But we're looking on how we can uh, take JBot to a bigger scale where it can be functional for everyone in the university. Uh, basically, JBot runs on an artificial intelligence uh, model. So these models, they are called large language models. They have been trained on uh, billions of uh, parametric data. So if you ask it a question about something, it would respond. So for uh, JBot, what I did was like I got the information from the university website. I scraped the data, so I create a database, a vector database for it. So when you ask JBot a question, what uh, JBot does, the, the large language model helps JBot to answer in the sense that it fetches the information from the database and responds to the user in a way that the user can understand. Say for instance, if you ask JBot, tell me about the module of the MSc Data Science course. What JBot does, it goes into the database, get all the modules and presents it to the user in a way that the user will understand, okay, this is the module for the MSc Data Science. Uh, this, this is the list. What else do you want me to tell you? It gives you prompt as well. AI will change the way we interact with uh, computers and machines. If it can be regulated, the, there won't be a side effect like uh, hackers using it to steal money and all that. But if it is used for the uh, benefits of mankind, like to solve problems, like to uh, make uh, workloads, like to make a task that is uh, repeated, like tasks that get tiring, AI can help you to make it easy so you don't keep doing the same thing over and over and over. It's really changed the way we interact. Uh, I chose uh, the University of Wolverhampton because uh, when I was going through uh, a lot of different universities, checking out the modules for the courses, the, the modules for the University of Wolverhampton kind of uh, attracted me a lot because it contains all the modules that is required for me to be grounded, to, to get the skills that will make me to be strong uh, when I go out there to uh, walk in the field or if I want to teach other people who want to learn about data science or AI. It's really been a good experience. Uh, the lecturers uh, like uh, Dr. Liam Nahen and um, my colleagues, everyone, the university, it's a very good place to study. Like, a very good environment. My takeaway is uh, you have to keep learning. Like uh, when they give us, uh, say, an assignment, you it's kind of help you to go research further. Apart from what you have been taught in class, it exposes you to other because you're, you're trying to solve one problem in your in your uh, classwork, and you see another one. And that way you keep learning, you keep learning, you keep learning. So what I've learned in the university is that learning is for life. You have to keep learning. <laughs> That's what I've learned.